here is the important concepts and important questions from the edc subject uh, at the first thing i want to say you is that don't miss any questions from the unit 1 unit 3 and unit 4 questions because these are the very easy and uh, simple chapters which you can score the more marks from this and uh, if you practice these problems and topics uh, then you can pass the edc subject and i want to say you that um, draw the circle diagrams with pencil only and mention the headings very clearly uh, let's see the important topics from the unit 1 that is diodes and the very first topic we have the static and dynamic resistances and then we are characteristics of a pn junction diode these two are the most important one and diode as a switching times is the very important and equivalent circuit and the diffusion or and diffusion and transition capacitances so static and dynamic va characteristics diodes as a switching times uh, switch and switching times and then diffusion and uh, transition capacitance these four are the most important one uh, we know that we have we will get the four uh, four questions from each chapter for the five marks and this unit one is a very simple and easy top uh, easy chapter it has a very less number of topics so prepare this chapter perfectly and you can score more marks from the diodes then from the unit 2 that is diode applications we have the uh, half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier but from this both the full wave rectifier is a most important uh, or uh, they ask you to uh, compare the half wave rectifier or the and the full wave rectifier so we have to if they ask you to compare both of the rectifiers then make a table and uh, mention the uh, half wave and full wave and you compare both of the rectifiers or if it is asked for the separately then full wave rectifier is asked this is a one of the most important one and then clamper and uh, clamping uh, circuit theorem this is one of the most important which can be asked for the five marks and this full wave rectifier can be asked for the five marks or the 10 marks uh, but uh, don't miss these two topics full wave rectifier and the clamper clamping circuit theorem and clamping circuits uh, uh we have the clamping uh, different types of clamping circuits uh, so prepare all the clamping circuits then rectifiers with capacitive and the inductive filters uh, they ask you to uh, differentiate the capacitive and inductive filters or it can be asked separately also but this is one of the most important one or uh, we have the uh, calculation of the values like uh, vsc vdc ripple factor efficiency of the full wave rectifier and half wave rectifier uh, this is also said to be one of the important one then here also in clamping circuits you need to draw with the uh, wave forms and then if we go with the unit 3 which is the bipolar junction transistor we have we have the very less number of topics from the unit 3 and this is also said to be the one of the important one uh, compare three configurations of transistor common emitter common base and common collector this is one of the compulsory question from this chapter which can be asked for the 5 marks or the 10 marks they ask you to compare both uh, three of them or uh, you can answer them separately also as like uh, uh, mention the common emitter heading and uh, explain briefly about it they can be asked separately or you have to compare it but this question is compulsory from this chapter so prepare this perfectly and working of transistor as a switch this is also said to be the one of the most important which can be asked for the five marks so don't miss these two topics and uh, switching characteristics of a transistor so of a transistor we have the working transistor as a switch and switching characteristics of a switcher so these two are the most important which can be asked for the 10 marks uh, in, uh, by combining and then bjt of the principle of operation uh, the, it is also said to be the one of the important one uh, for the five marks so don't miss these four topics from this unit 3 and it is very small and easy and simple you can easily uh, get good marks from this chapter from the unit 4 that is junction field effect transistor uh, compare bjt and fet is one of the most important question you will get compulsory this question and prepare this question perfectly 
then construction and working principle of the FET. Then VA characteristics of the FET is also said to be one of the important one. And then construction and working principle of MOSFET or MOSFET. So it can be asked, uh, they can ask you the construction and working principle of MOSFET or they can ask you the construction and working principle of the MOSFET. So this is also said to be the one of the most important. If you prepare these topics, then you can attempt one question from this chapter. And then pinch of voltage is also the important which can be asked for the five marks. So it is also the very small and easily you can get but don't miss the uh, this question that is compare BJT and the FET. And then from the unit 5 we have the, uh, the special purpose devices. Here we will have the some of the uh, tunnel diode, UJT, vector diode and photodiode and then short K diode, SCR and solar cell LED. Tunnel diode and uh, SCR solar cell LED is said to be the most important along with that UJT also. And then characteristics of a Zener diode is said to be the one of the important one and the voltage regulator, Zener as a voltage regulator. So these both combinedly can be asked for the 10 marks. So prepare this one question, uh, prepare these two topics from the special purpose devices and from these diodes prepare tunnel diode. UJT, short key diode and the SCR and the, uh, prepare this perfectly. So to score good, uh, to pass the subject, the very simple and easy chapters are unit 1, unit 3 and the unit 4. So prepare all the topics from the unit 4, unit 3 and the unit 4. Then let's see the important questions from all the chapters. First we shall go with the unit 1. First question, explain the operation of PN junction diode and the forward and river bias with the, its characteristics. Nothing but we have to explain the VA characteristics of the PN junction diode and you should also explain the forward bias and the reverse bias. How the PN junction work under these two biases. Then second question, define diffusion capacitance and derive expression for it which can be asked for the 5 marks. Define transition capacitance and derive the expression for it. This also can be asked for the 5 marks. And diode switching time and switching characteristics of the diode. Fifth question, diode equivalent circuit. So these are the most important questions from the unit 1. And from the unit 2, we have described the operation of half wave rectifier with and without filter. So by using the filter, uh, uh, explain the half-wave rectifier and without using the filter, explain its operation of the half-wave rectifier. Then describe the operation of full-wave rectifier with and without filter. Third question, calculate the values of VAC, VDC, ripple factor and efficiency for the full-wave full wave and the half-wave rectifier. So for first uh, mention the heading full-wave rectifier. And you calculate the values of VAC, VDC, ripple factor and the efficiency. And similarly for the half wave rectifier also. So in this way you can answer this question. Then in fourth one, uh, explain different clipper circuits with necessary waveforms. And then explain different clamping circuits with necessary waveforms. And fifth one, derive the expression and uh, define clamping theorem and Define the exponent, uh, expression. Clamping theorem is, uh, I said you, this is one of the important one. So prepare this one. And from the unit 3, explain the input and output characteristics of common base configuration and write the parameters. Then from the second, uh, explain the input and output characteristics of the common emitter uh, configuration and write the parameters. common collector also and then fourth explain the working principle of the BJT and its construction. So you have to explain the BJT operation, its working principle and its uh, uh, construction. Then fifth explain how transistor acts as a switch. Uh, 
and then explain the switching time of the transistor. So this both can be asked for the uh, 10 marks commonly. And then from the unit 4, explain the construction and working principles of the FET using suitable diagram. So construction and the working principle of the FET. And the second question, compare BJT and FET. I said you, this is a most important, so don't leave this question. And then wear characteristics of FET and the drain characteristics also. Explain the construction and working principle of the MOSFET using suitable diagram. And compare enhancement of MOSFET and depletion MOSFET from the uh, fourth chapter. So don't leave this question, compare BJT and the FET. From the unit 5, explain how Zina diode acts as a voltage regulator and draw the VI characteristics. So this is also said to be the one of the important which can be asked for the 5 marks or the 10 marks. Explain the construction and working principle of the SCR. So I told you that SCR is the most important. So prepare the uh, uh, prepare SCR with its construction and the working principle. And terminal diode is also the important and explain UJT and explain the photo diode and all the best for your exam uh, so don't leave the any topics from the unit 1 unit 3 and the unit 4 which are uh, these chapters are the um, very useful for you to pass the EDC subject and it is a very uh, it has a very less number of topics in it so prepare all the important questions and all the best for your exam. Thank you.